Hello everyone and welcome back to Soma. This is part 5 where we are currently outside of Theta Station because we've come off of the Zeppelin after having a very intense conversation with Catherine about who we really are and uh, sort of uh, not letting us uh, get distracted by uh, the fact that we're actually a robot and trying not to think too much into it. Or maybe thinking about it is a good thing. We are not sure. That's currently currently Simon's point of view as he is trying to figure out what the hell is going on in this world and in his mind um, as he's processing the fact that he's a robot. And he's like, I don't even know anymore. And I relate because I don't even know anymore. Um, so we're going to now push further in and go into this station so I think we might actually be able to finally go back indoors but I do just want to do a bit of a perimeter sweep so I can actually have a look and see what's going on outside of this area so we've got a data, uh, data buffer available Strasky. Wake up, Dr. Masters. We're bringing an anchor. What's wrong? What can I say? He's had a rough day. <laughs> He's all butchered by structure shrapnel. The lab sure did a number on him. Brandon, flip the panic switch on the seat. I don't want to burn through the oxygen. You're kidding, right? He's fucking hanging on by a thread. We need to move him. Strasky, get the infirmary ready. We need to move fast. Wait. Where are Kumarabi and the others? This is all we got. I guess it's still at Delta. Yeah, I can't do this on my own. Grab the other side. Strask, ready or not, we're coming in. All right. See you soon. All right. Looks like that's where we're headed. So let me just do a brief look around this area as well, and I'll go down here before we head in. Because we've got something here as well. This is the shuttle station. Yep. Yeah. Didn't think so. I wonder what's going on in there. Filled up enough to like burst the doors wide open. Alright. I don't think there'll be anything useful out here, so we'll just uh, we'll just go straight ahead and have a look at what's inside Theta. I'm sure it'll be um, it'll be very nice in there, very very chill. Probably some survivors, and they'll be like, "Hey, welcome. Let's just hang out and have a nice time." This thing on? Can everyone hear me? Listen up, all members of staff. The art project has caused a lot of arguments the last few months. I'm not going to pretend I understand what the hell Sarang talked about and how his continuity suddenly made sense to kill yourself. For the fucking love of God, or whatever you think is important, don't kill yourself. This place is miserable enough. Don't force your friends to clean up your blood. Rest in peace. Quality. Good? Beautiful, sir. Uh, all right, everyone. Show's over. Get back to work. Wow. So, the ARC project was enough to get people to be like, Hey, you scanned my brain, as it is right now, to go to, like, what? A paradise world. Like, you know, why would I live in this miserable, like, shit show until then? Why not just go there right now? Yeah, I can see the message that the ARC would actually promote people being like, all right, well, uh, see you later. I guess I'll go there now. And these are like some of the graves. Eternity amongst the stars. 
It's the same one for all of them. Can't interact with them, but yeah, we've got people that literally were like, Hell yeah, time to go to the Ark early. Wow, that's crazy. Just quickly check over here as well. But I don't think it's anything. No. Alright. We will now go inside. Ooh, actually. Interesting. Getting some of that, uh, getting some of that Catherine content as well, even though it um, doesn't give away too much information, but unsure how different that Catherine is to the one that we've currently got in our Omni tool. Man, this is getting really depressing. <laughs> um, so, there's your physical body and then your scan version that would live on in the Ark. But then humans are like, humans are like, well, I want to live in the Ark. So, if they kill themselves around the time of the scan, they're able to take the place of the copy, I think was what they just said, instead of the copy living on... More of them. Robin. I'm not sure how to say this. What? This... This is... Yeah? Pretty amazing, right? I mean, the Ark. Yeah, it's great. Catherine and the guys have really pulled through. They saved us all. See you later. Will do. 
I'll be going now. Let me know if you find anyone else. Damn, this is, uh, yeah, this is very depressing and awkward. So they end up just getting put, they end up just being placed into robots. And this I expected is... expected something different. Well, this is going to kill the robot. Why do I need to... What's this connected to? This isn't even something I can interact with. This just seems entirely okay, optional. I'm not the only one who got scanned. Like, I have a feeling that this is like, this seems like it's a choice to put them out of their misery. You know, because she's trapped here. She's not going anywhere else. But then, Hello? I don't know, dude, because a lot of them have been, I've unplugged so many and killed so many robots. And she's just kind of trapped here. I'm not sure. It's it's not something that I have to do. At least I don't know yet, so we'll, we'll have to find out. Um, so I'm going to leave that for a second. Ah. Oh, this... no? Yep. Oh, yep. You can... <laughs> Please <laughs> pull down. <laughs> Why can't I? Ah, okay. Ah, yep, yep, <laughs> yep. Okay, now can I pull this down? No, okay. Ah, now I can pull it down. Okay, <laughs> wonderful. That's so cool and interactive. I would love to like be able to handle that with like a VR controller. It'd be so cool to like do the motions and pull it in. I wish, I wish that there was um, VR on Xbox. Like I, I was tempted to get PSVR for my PS4, but I think I actually want to be investing in a VR headset for um, for my PC because there's a couple of games in there I want to play. Um, I also want to get into the Half-Life series because I've never played Half-Life before but I bought the bundle on Steam so I've got them ready to go because I would eventually like to play Half-Life Alex because the physics in that game, like VR physics and everything, it looks incredible. Um, so I want to try it for its technological achievements alone as well as the fact that it is a very, very successful and highly popular franchise. Um, so that will be something to save up and invest VR for PC. Um, but I am hoping that maybe PC VR will be compatible with Xbox because Microsoft PC, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. We'll have to find out. But we're in Theta now. Um, I didn't have to kill that robot, so I apologize in advance to that robot for letting them still exist in such miserable conditions. But who knows, maybe if I'm able to activate the Ark and stuff, she'll get transported away from that consciousness into something better. That's kind of what I'm hoping for. That's why I didn't pull the plug. <laughs> I'm interested to see what's in here. Theta seems to be from that robot's discussion, like the arc was like most popular here. Because there was a lot of people that killed themselves. So I have a feeling that there might be more corrupted robots or more humans trapped in robots in this area than we've encountered previously. But we'll have to find out. Whatever it is, I don't I don't think it's gonna be good. Can't go in there. Can't do this, can I? Didn't they do this? Yes. Let me in. Actually, I wonder if that's where I'm supposed to go. Just give me a second. I don't want to go somewhere where I shouldn't yet. Um, don't think I can do anything in this section. 
Oh, I wish I could just jump over. <laughs> Hate it when you can't just jump over every barricade. Um, and this looks like I can scan the Omni tool to go in here. Alright, let me check this room then. I feel like we could be safe to check this room. Even though I don't think I've found anything in a locker, I'm still still very tempted to to open it all up. <laughs> Ooh, machine hanger control. Okay, uh, maybe we'll be able to use this to like open up this area and we were actually supposed to come in here after all. We really be right in the middle of the ocean. Okay. Can't interact with the computer at all. Alright, I guess we'll use this. We're here? We're here! Okay, great. Time to hijack ourselves a submarine. There will be nothing stopping us when we have the dumb bat. You guys sure have a lot of machines and so. down here. What makes this one so special? It's the only transport that can go into the abyss without cracking like a can of soup. If this is one of a kind, then how did they get the Ark down the abyss in the first place? That's a good question. I suppose they did it the hard way and just walked. Didn't realize that was an option. Kath, what's it like inside the Ark? Is it like a movie or virtual reality? No, of course not. It's, you know, like real life, but slightly better. Pleasant temperature, clean air good weather. So people in the Ark just walk around pretending it's the real world? You don't have to pretend. It's perfectly immersive. And it can just sustain itself? Yes. Attached to a probe fueled by solar panels, it can survive for thousands of years. That's amazing. Just thinking about the Earth being what it is and us setting out to save the final remains of humanity, it's... it's... Heroic? Uh, at least it feels worth doing. Here we go. The Dunbat. Oh, damn it. I knew it was too good to be true. What's wrong? It's... It, it's quarantined. Hold yeah, it on. looks infected, dude. We need a security cipher. How bad is it? It's we don't write these things down type of bad. Maybe someone's still around who can tell us what it is. Hmm. Sure, let's go with that. It doesn't I'll look good inside the there. For you so you can explore the station. It's got all the stuff in it. Hey yo. Find someone who knows the cipher. It's the only way to fire up the Dunbat. Hey yo, it's still got the stuff in there. Find someone who knows the security cipher. It's still got Find the stuff in there. The security cipher. Well, I guess I'm leaving you behind then. But I need you to. Oh, I guess she's opened the door manually for me, didn't she? Yeah. All right, cool. We can open doors now. But then, I, I'm assuming if we tried to open this door, it would say access denied because of the whole quarantine thing. Um, so... Alright, these two doors. Alright. Let's go! Lovely, that's a hallway. Let's go into the infected place first. Oh god. Thanks, Dromaya. That's a real helpful report. Be quiet, the proxy listens. What happened to Theta? No explanations anywhere. Kinda sounds like a warning. Mm, maybe this is the way to go. Cause it doesn't sound too pleasant. And we're also getting Catherine dialogue, so let me check down here. Alright, we got a health thing if we need it.
Dude, Theta is corrupted. What happened to all the people? This place looks deserted. So far. It doesn't make any sense. Theta is clearly the best option for survival. Which means if Theta is compromised, uh, chances of anywhere else being okay are very slim. Damn, I really wish I knew which way to go um, first. I don't know which way to. Where the hell did they all go? I don't know which way to explore they first. Have a picture. Where would you go? Probably Lambda or Omicron. Well, we've seen Lambda already, so maybe Omicron. I mean, this seems like it would be sealed for a reason. I just need to. I want to. I don't want to miss anything. You know what I mean? Because I'm so. I'm so immersed in this world right now that I want. That I want to take everything in. I'm worried we won't find anyone. Maybe they all helped out with the arm. Carry it to town? Well, it seems excessive, but not out of the question. We got some locked doors down this hallway as well. This looks like it might be like living quarters. Mm, that doesn't look great. Just a routine toilet inspection. Need to check that we're all flushing appropriately. Wonderful. Showers don't work. <laughs> Let me cleanse myself of this madness. Probably won't let me because I'm a robot. Um, all right. Was it because I threw the thing down the elevator? I'm sorry. Those are locked. I've got my Buddha for good luck. So... I am protected right now. You stay down there for a second. Got a toilet inspection to do. And we are all clear. You may come back with me now. How do we, uh... Yes, that's out. <laughs> Lovely. Now you stay with me. Oh my god. Every time we walk out of a room... And now the lights are off. I don't know which way is the best way to go, dude. Because... Um... That whole other room that looks all infected, I really wanted to explore that. So we can't go down there, and we can't go down there. Okay, so that eliminates a whole hallway. Ah, there's so many rooms to check. Um, and then there's this thing to check. Alright, let me go back now. Because let's go down here. I feel protected right now. I got my lucky charm. We've rubbed the belly. Oh, oh. As we go down into the, the belly of the beast. Ah, oh, I don't know. It doesn't look like we can actually return from down there. We like drop down onto that staircase. This looks like a one-way trip. 
I'm sorry, but we have to then explore the other room first. We'll go through all of the dorm rooms before we descend further into the nightmare. That is my decision and I'm sticking with it. And if we miss it, I, I tried. I made made very logical decision to um, look like I can explore options that are not one-way trips. So let's open this door and then we'll go down the hallway of doors. Stay here. <gasps> Where'd you go? Oh my god, right here. I was worried there for a second. Like, Come on, bro. No. Hold on. Alright, there's more stuff in here. I feel like this robot might fucking turn on. This is where I did my scan. And all the others, I suppose. Oh. My scan was the first. Had to test the scanner before I could start making promises. Alright, well that looks offline. Let's check the data buffer. Uh, Strasky, come in. I need help in the lab, the scan room. What happened? Conrad killed himself after the scan. Jesus, how? Um, laser tool? What should I do? I'm gonna need to tell Strohmeyer. No, please! I'm so close. Strohmeyer's gonna shut down the ARC project. It's not my fault people keep killing themselves. Catherine, what are you gonna do? It's not like you can sneak a 300 pound body out of the lab. I know. Catherine, are you okay? Not even close. God damn, dude. So people just getting scanned and going like, all right, time to go to the ark. That's awful, dude. Like, all like the blood in the chair as well. Please reset router in the sub-level vault or contact maintenance. The sub-level vault seems like that one-way trip that I, that I came across earlier. So maybe we're gonna have to end up coming back up here after we like reset the router. We gotta just try uh, turning it off and on again and see what happens. Ah, Even though this all looks all infected. Check the terminal, I just wanna make sure. Legacy scans, okay, so. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. David Munchie. How did this... What is this? This is... This is Mr. Brainscan. The Pace Files Munchie. Compressed Nakajimi Neurograph. April 28th, 2015. He died May 23rd, 2078. Wow. Okay. Munchies in this system. Subject, Paul Berg. And that's my last name. Simon Jarrett. Oh my god. Kath, what is this? Why do you have a file of me? You are one of Dr. Munchie's templates, a legacy scan. Died June 1st, 2015.
So May 2nd, 2015, I had my brain scanned and I died a month later. And this one has audio recordings. Did I die a month later by choice or because of the brain? I'm a legacy scan. So I die in my in the in the beginning of the game. It seems not directly after the scan but a month later and I wake up in this existence in um in this world. Maybe in sort of like Catherine's weird arc project. So I'm a legacy scan from a hundred years ago that Catherine must have used as like a um, a reference. How do I... Let me have a look at the audio recordings. Last recording. Oh my god. So post scan as well. Roadmap last recording. Dude, this is crazy. Okay, that's it. Wow. That was fun. That's a relief. Still figuring this out, so... It was freaky. So many lights. What do we do now? Paul and I are going to run tests for a week or so, and then we'll work out a roadmap to your recovery. Well, I feel excited. Can't wait to get back to the living. Wow. We've worked everything out. Everything is legal. Vouched for by Dr. Peak and Professor Wei. Oh, that's great news. No big change in medication. You'll be taking an aspirin every morning, but that's about it. Paul worked out a diet with some variations you should try out. You can continue doing physical therapy. Also, there's some extra cardio training every other day. Okay, getting complicated. Don't worry, it's really not. We're going to keep an eye on you every week, so we'll be able to adjust the plan if needed. I die less than two weeks later. The model was sound. It should have worked. It's not your fault, David. I really wish things had turned out differently. Yeah, me too. I was supposed to save you. Hey, you got my brain on file. Maybe you can put it to some use. <laughs> yeah, who knows? You'd be okay with that? Using it for my research? Sure. It's like a part of me lives on or something. Like a donated organ. You know what sucks about dying? What? The crash. Everything up till now, the brain damage, you guys, everything, has made my life so much more real. I started thinking about all the things I was going to do. I'd never been more excited to be alive. All that hope. Wasted. Holy shit, dude. So, we are a product of Munchie's research. Simon gave verbal authority. He said, use me for research. Part of me lives on. Here I am. This is, I started off as post-scan Simon Jarrett. Why would it give me the ability to erase the data? I don't want to. Nan Comp. March 2nd, 2014 by Nakajima Shin. The Nami. July 17th, 2021. I wonder what that is, that first one. What reference any of these have... Unless they were, they were just like previous attempts. But Mun Munchie scanned himself and then I was the last scan. Or the last of the, the legacy scans. What's a legacy scan? They're historic templates for AI construction. Any self-respecting engineer wouldn't use legacies anymore, but they're great for learning. They come with every development kit. So my brain scan turned into a template for artificial intelligence. You should be proud. So much for that mystery. No magic or time travel needed. I was here all along. Waiting for someone to shove a picture of my brain into a suit and hit the power button. 
Yeah. So something just triggered Boop. him getting loaded into the um, into the machine. Into a robot. Into a big old robot suit. I need more context to perfectly put this puzzle together, but oh my god. Did you get all of that, Buddha? Everything is insane. That's probably the dead body storage room. Alright, let's check some more research. Welcome to my place. Let me put you when down. Cozy. I am a... It's just, this is just crazy. I'm still trying to actually uh, piece together the fact that I am a, a legacy template for AI. That's wild! Well, at least that figures out how I, um... How I got here. Eventually. Crazy. So part of me gets to this live on. The Are they similar to my legacy file? No, yours is flatter, if that makes sense. Less dynamic. Thanks. That makes me feel much better. Okay, we can interact with all of this. Did I touch any of this? Fast. Oh. Broken. Oh wow, okay, so we're looking for a good high quality disc thing. Well, there, there it is. Uh, let me just quickly check the others. This is so cool. This would be insane to play in VR. As soon as I get my VR headset, though, we are playing some VR horror stuff. <laughs> and I will, um, I will poop my pants live for everyone to, um, uh, to witness. That'll be exciting. Alright, looks like this is the one. An intact memory chip. If we're lucky, we might be able to extract the cipher from it. Well... I guess this is what we needed. Um... That's the, that's the scan cipher. We're done with there. We'll go back down here. Oh no! I didn't mean to throw you. I also didn't mean to drop you. Don't cancel my bad luck. I need it more than ever. Alright, well this might mean I'm gonna leave you here for now, okay? Just be safe. The legacy scan of me that was on the computer. What did you use it for? It's a template that has an intelligence pathwork already etched into the base. So, if I wanted to build an AI, I wouldn't have to reinvent a whole model. I would be able to focus on the things that the AI is to be used for. Is every AI self-aware? Do they also think they're Simon? What? No, Simon. Don't worry. It's not like we just put people into robots and machinery and let them roam free. That'd be really cruel. It doesn't work like that. Or at least it didn't used to work like that. Truly sentient machines, thinking they are people, is definitely new. But you kept them sentient for the Ark. Yes, and I basically had to invent the method. Hmm. Okay. Looks like we're checking out rooms now. So let's have a look. This one was sealed. This guy killed himself after um, he got scanned, so let's have a look. What is this for? Master Mazer to Oh wow. He was looking at how to 
turn off the safety on the maser tool so he could end it after he got scanned. And he took it all apart. He took it out. Holy hell. Okay. Nice work, genius. Um, was also probably under the influence, it seems. Now I am. Gee, Simon, some thoughts are better left alone. Yeah, exactly. Simon's thinking. Simon's thinking a bit too hard. All right. So that was just some like optional stuff to look into. Nadine's is definitely closed. Maggie's is closed. These aren't even sealed. They're just. They're just no dice. Catherine's room. I kind of want to leave that to last. Uh, <laughs> oh, what kind of a name is Javid? I wonder what the real Simon would have thought if he knew about me. What do you mean? You do know about yourself. No, I, I mean the real Simon. The human Simon. Going by your reactions, I'd say he'd be pretty upset. Yeah. All right, so we can check out these rooms. Ooh. Okay, it does not sound good down here, but we've got Strasky's room and someone else's room that I can't see right now, but there's an angry robot in this area. Which is not good. All right, let's have a look in here. All right, we've got health in Fisher's room. If we need it. Robin's room, who was the robot that was outside, who also killed herself. It's very dark in here. I forgot that I could turn on a light. I was like wondering how dark it was. I just was like, I'll just press random buttons and see if I can turn a light on. And I can. That's locked. The locked ones are always so, um... Uh, scary because they... It vibrates my whole thing. Wow, she's got a whole... Oh, she's got a whole thing set up in here. I guess this is her imagining what the arc is going to be like. We're all dying anyway. I'm all in. I put my faith in Sarang and the continuity. That's like a render of the arc. Man, she was very excited. Which is why she was so miserable when she was like, this is not what I imagined at all. Um, there's a note right here. <laughs> Great, glad I looked at that. <laughs> Um, this was not a pretty sight, dude. Seems like you are the most excited person. Oh no, the razor blade. Ah, oh, that would have been across the, across the neck. Not very nice, Robin. That's depressing. Okay, let's check Mark's room. Robin called out for, for Mark, saying like, Mark, is that you? So I'm wondering what happened to Mark. That's very confusing stuff on the map. I wonder what Mark's looking for. Oh, he's like taking photos of um, 
all of the like corrupted stuff and he's like I know he's doing a bunch of like maths and stuff trying to figure this all out he's like what does any of this mean he was trying to get to the bottom of it interesting what does that say cham lab chem lab something uh, the book is not able to be interacted with. That brain is. Yeah. The nature of identity. I was wondering if I could like open the book or anything, but I don't think I can. Classified. Mr. Serang, the company is very pleased to hear about your success in making the WoW a station-wide presence. We trust you appreciate what a unique opportunity this is and that you will do everything in your power to fully explore and understand this mystery. To do so, you need to ensure that Dr. Johan Ross is able to steer and study the WoW from Alpha without outside interference. In case of an emergency, you may direct Julia Dahl at Omicron to forcefully eliminate any opposition, but please make an effort to avoid extreme actions. The WoW is an important, costly affair, and we hope to follow a steady development without setbacks. Doesn't sound very good to me. I don't know what this is for. So much stuff to take in in this area. I'm just getting like so interested. I want to pick up everything and find out um, what I need, which is why it is taking me so long to look at everything. This is like the exposition, find stuff out about yourself and others episode, <laughs> essentially. Dear friends, when you read this, I will have entered the Ark. As I've explained, this is accomplished by ceasing to live as your scan is being completed. To not frighten Catherine, I will do this in secret by folding cyanide salts into chewing gum and placing it in my mouth before seeing her. When I hear her announce completion, I will bite down, quickly causing my own demise. When you discover the truth behind my death, know there's no tragedy to mourn, for I'm victorious. I advise you all to do the same and join me inside the Ark. Wow. This is just getting grim. Alright, we've got the final room to check in this hallway, and it's Catherine's. Hey, that's my room. You want me to bring something? A souvenir? No, it's just memories. It's all wet in here. What's with the junk? Looks like something you'd fish out of the ocean. Huh? Oh, you mean... Yeah, that's a part of Reed's vivarium. It's... It, it, it's a long story. Forget it. Yeah, what is this? Your teddy bear could use some repairs. Toby always breaks. He's top-heavy, so he keeps falling over. My god. <laughs> Low key terrifying, dude. I hate I that. Doubt you'll find anything useful in there. Well, let's have a look. What's this? Journal. 2103. Imogen Reed tested a machine today. It was clearly corrupted by WoW, but more importantly, it was assembled in a seemingly primitive way, like someone had specifically created it for WoW to steal. When activated, the machine mimicked the room and read along with it. At some point, she was scanned and then loaded as a simulation inside the digital space. The presentation shocked Reed and was quickly terminated. It scares me how much it reminds me of my AR capsule. After dissecting the Vivar Vivarium machi machine that Reed activated, it's clear that WoW copied my capsule project to construct the scene to hold the Reed simulation. It's actually very similar in its construction except for one point. 
where my capsule houses flat people constructed from model neurographs, the vivarium's brain scan lives on. It isn't limited by its content from the originating brain scan read emerged. The read inside the vivarium was a perfect copy. I have it. I can save humanity. I can build an artificial reality capsule that can hold every living member of Pathos 2. I can't figure out how it works with the vivarium, but I can replicate WoW's scanning technique using the pilot seats. They are already prepared with the type of electromagnetic drums needed. It was even easier than I thought. The pilot seats are already set to allow the defrication and high energy needed to capture the scan. I suspect WoW has been using the seat to steal scans from us for a while. I guess that explains the Mockingbirds. The WoW must have stolen scans from people using the pilot seat and used it as a basis for intelligence in the machines. With a surprisingly positive reaction from the team, we have now officially started the ARC project. We are to scan all the people we can find and load them into the capsule. Then we will launch it into space using the space gun. It's nice to think something will live on like that. Mark Serang killed himself after his scan. He has been suggesting everyone should kill themselves as it would somehow allow them to actually get on the ARC. I'm not sure how that would work. It did trigger a lot of arguments among the staff and apparently it's my fault somehow. Um, Strohmeyer is not happy with me. Hope it will calm down. So Catherine doesn't even think it'll work, like getting into the ARC right after you're killing yourself and it seems like Mark spread a rumor to do so. Richard gave me a set of AI templates I haven't seen before, unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Car Catherine and her gang of legacies. New way to simulate turbulence makes the weather system so much better. Implemented Reed didn't go well. New try with Reed. Reed won't play nicely with the others. She is too real. Wow, this is this is getting very, very weird. So AI templates I haven't seen before. Which uh, me, Simon, would have been one of those, right? The legacy ones, because it says unfolded one of them to make a new friend for Capsule Catherine and her gang of legacies. I need more info than that. Yeah. This is to uh, this is to communicate that uh, that Catherine is uh, a puppet master, and she's controlling everything. You've heard it here first, folks. This gives it all away, and this is very weird to read. Can I not interact with the computer at all? No. All right. I swear it was. Uh, it was glowing, but I guess not. She got a bunch of corrupted stuff on her as well, but I guess that was the uh, that was the important thing. Um, there's so many just like weird objects that you could interact with. So Simon is like, oh, cool fan, Catherine, but then doesn't acknowledge or say anything about the um, the crazy stuff he just read on the uh, on the iPad. Cool hairbrush, Catherine. What do you do? Brush your hair with it? Ooh. You have a lot of toys. <laughs> she has a lot of toys. Because she's a control freak. She likes to take things and change them. And Catherine's the real villain of this story. Oh, he... <laughs> oh. Stop. Stop. Go away. Alright. That was the whole way. I spent a lot of time looking in here. Because I really wanted to just... I really want to get everything. I don't want to miss anything. So I'm definitely taking... Um, like areas like this slowly because I really want to know what the hell is going on so it looks like we've explored everywhere now and the only places to go next are um, down the place that looks like a one-way trip 
and back to Catherine with the cipher. So I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the smart thing and go back to Catherine first with the cipher because I don't wanna I don't wanna end up going somewhere I can't come back. But I, I guess I could. Like to be honest, I could probably jump back up. I just don't wanna risk it right now. Like I know we do have to still get Catherine back, so If this door opens and Catherine says, oh, I'll go through there to get to the um, the Dunbat, I will go down that way and we'll, we'll the check it out. The terminals have lost contact with the mainframe. We need to reset the router downstairs. Oh, no, there we go. I'll take care of it. All right, well, you protect Catherine. The terminals in my laboratory have lost connection to the mainframe. Head downstairs and reset the router. All right, you stay here. You stay here, Buddha. You protect Catherine with your good luck, because I've rubbed your belly enough. And we're going downstairs finally, so there we go, we're gonna go turn it off and on again. Hopefully everything will work as normal. Whatever normal is anymore, I don't even know. Okay, down we go. <coughs> Oh, okay, I can press the button to interact and get back up. Alright, let's have a look. We've got three options. That option doesn't sound very nice. But naturally, it's obviously going to be the place that we need to go, because right now this is nothing. This is potentially something. This is also potentially something. Oh, dude, it's another dude that's uh, strapped up to the... God. I can't interact with this one though, but Oh my god, dude. I wonder who that one is. They're not even hooked up or connected to anything, dude. All right, well this room has nothing in it except old mate. I'm so sorry that I can't even unplug you. You are being kept alive through whatever the hell that is. Oh man. What is that? Wow. I've got another one hooked up as well. that I can't interact with. Okay, so you're down there. I'm hoping that there's only one There's multiple routes to take, which I'm really grateful for. Oh, 
I wish I could see under more, like I could prone or something. I think it's going down this way. Okay, that's where we need to be. Oh my god. Well, here's the thing. It was either make it out alive. I mean, sorry. It was either kill yourself after the scan and get into the arc. Or it was, uh... Oh, what? I thought this was the... Oh no, I thought this was the router. Wait a minute. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. leaving oh okay mainframe is online that's so cheeky that you had to like flick the switch to confirm the reset all right I'm gonna quickly leave that's terrifying Let's get the fuck out of here. Oh my god, I'm so glad there was only one. Whew. Okay. That was really tense. Alright, let's get back to Catherine. I'm really hoping that it's still reset and it wasn't like... Alright, cool. I'm not going down there again. That door's slightly open. Why is that door slightly open now and there's noises? I'm so glad I didn't take Buddha with me. Buddha would not have been able to make that. You know how much picking up and putting, it down, putting down I would have had to do around all of that stuff? All right, so we've got Catherine here now. I can now look at this stuff, and then I need to go back to the lab, I guess. We should try running a simulation from the chip you found. Someone must know the cipher. Uh, I don't think I run the simulation here, so let me have a look. Site status. All systems operational. Black box beacon. This looks all corrupted down on level two though. So where are we? We're here. You go down there. Interesting. Robin's deceased. Catherine's missing. Dorian is deceased. Jessica deceased. Martin Fisher deceased. Jasper Hill missing. Nikolai missing. Conrad deceased. 
Sarah's missing. Ian's missing. Imogen's Reed is missing. Mark's deceased. Strasky doesn't have anything on his name. Neither does Strohmeyer. Guests. Alright. So nothing I can do about that. So it looks like we're going back downstairs. Not sorry, not downstairs, but through this area to go and have a look at... Have a look at the computers that are now on. So I think we can ignore that area for now. This area had nothing and then it's through here where I can now do all of the um, investigation on the computers. So let's have a look. There's a computer in here, a computer in there, and a computer in here. Go ahead, plug in that chip you found. Where am I plugging it in? Uh, there? Alright, cool. Well, I'm going to do that last then, so let's have a look at this. Scan log. Okay. The scan log. Catherine went first, Nikolai, Jasper, Sarah, Ian, Heather, and Mark, who then suicided. Arc project on hold as we investigated Mark. Uh, Emma, Imogen, Louise, then suicided. Jessica, Peter, Nathan, suicided. Um... Gavin, Astrid, and then Robin. Robin was the last one. Uh, reprimanded, one more death, and we are out. Dorian, Martin, uh, Victus, Matthew, and then Conrad. So Conrad was the last one in September. Arc project on hold indefinitely. Scheduled scans that didn't get to be scanned um, had Strohmeyer in it as well. So there's seven people that didn't get scanned. I wonder what ended up happening to them. I'm pretty sure there's nothing new to be gained from this area. This the concept of erasing data is really interesting to me, but I I don't want to I don't want to do it. I don't know what's going to happen if I do. It'll most likely just say error though. Now let's have a look. Files. We've got two scans and we got some test environments. Imogen Read. So, July 31st. Doesn't say death. And then Conrad also doesn't say death. Test environments. Oh. Copy to what? Waterfield Steel Tank, Sensory Limiter. With pilot seat, better continuation, not necessary for ARC. Agreeable exterior test applied to ARC. Agreeable interior test, excellent. Data reconstructed by WOW, do not use. I don't know what any of it means yet. I wonder if I have to scan myself. All right, well, I guess let's put the chip in. Slot two, loading scan data. There should be a list of people. See if there's anyone who could know a security cipher. Wow, okay, so we've got a list of people that got scanned. So we've got Sarah. Said she'd help out delivering the Ark. Killed himself because of continuity. Strohmeyer is really mad, has tightened security. Delta refugee construct wrangler working for Strohmeyer. Another continuity suicide. Strohmeyer locked me out of my lab.
She helped me cut the wave leak from the helmet. If anything, it should make the post scan hangover less severe. Cheerful and funny as always. Construct the Ark, but not carry it to fight to fee. Well, the only thing. I, I would assume maybe Brandon, because he's working for Strohmeyer, so he might have the security information. Otherwise, I would say it would be Heather or Peter. But let's check Brandon. Because working for Strohmeyer, he might have um, security Very access. I'll just load him up and get the simulator going. There we are. What are we doing exactly? We're going to have a talk with Mr. Wan. Use the computer to activate the simulation. Wow. So we're going to take their scans and we can just go beep boop. That wasn't so bad. Stromar really got me worked up. Bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Mr. Wan. Chud? What happened to me? I, I can't see anything. There's nothing here. Don't worry, Mr. Wan. It'll all get better. No, no, that's, that's a lie. You're lying. Mr. Wan, I need you to stay calm. No, 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 no. Well, why, are you, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Did we just bring that guy to life? I mean, he's a perfect scan, meant for the Ark. He's the real deal. And we turned him off. Took it all away again. I really thought that was going to work. Maybe we can try again. Well, um, let's go here because we should be able to change the environment, right? Test environments. But it says, do not use <laughs> this one. So I guess we should use the beach. I don't know. How can I, how can I, how can I use these? Hmm. I guess I can't. I guess maybe we should just try him again. Because, can I... Can I use this chip in here somehow? Is there anything that I can... I can't put it on that thing because that doesn't make any sense. I can't put a chip in anything. But then you can't network transfer because it says restricted file. I tried. Uh, it doesn't look like I can interact with that, so let's try this again. It'd be nice if I could change the environment and the support module, but I guess we'll just go again. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to change the environment. Maybe we just need to try a different person, but I can't, I can't go back. All I can do is run it. 
I can't um, I can't use a different different dude. Well, if I pick the wrong person, I have a feeling that it would at least let me change it, right? Let me let me do something. I can't pick anything. I guess let's third time's lucky. Third time's the charm. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. What? What happened? Where did everyone go? Don't be afraid. Chun? What happened? To I I can't see anything. There's nothing here. There's no need to worry. No, no, that's that's a lie. You're lying. Okay, calm down, Mr. Wan. No, 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 no. Well, why, why are you doing this to me? I trusted you, Chun. I trusted you! Simon, we need something new to work with. Yeah, well, don't, like... <laughs> what do I do? I'm pulling the plug on this guy. There's got to be somewhere where I can plug this dude in, right? So, I can't do anything with this. I'm just trying to see if there's like a place that I could plug him in, but I, I can't. Um, like if you're saying we need something new to work with, I'm like, there's literally like the test environments that are right here and I'm going network transfer, I can't do anything. No external device detected, right? So I'm trying to see if I can like, if there's anything or anywhere I can plug it into. There's no slot on the robot for me to plug it into. There's no slot on here for me to plug it into. I'm wondering what that is. Ooh, what's this? Simulation assets. Aha! Aha! Oh, cool. This is what I needed. Cool, so I, I knew that it looks like it was like a slot for something, right? Cool, so it's basically a hard drive. Cool, so s slot number one is the external device. Awesome, so the chip has environments on it already. Agreeable interior discarded, but the beach is already on here. I can put the do not use one on here. Um, float tank is corrupted. You can copy the scan room. I'm tempted, but we can't. It's corrupt. Of course it is. Cool. Okay, we can now... We can now do stuff. <laughs> uh, that took a little while longer than I thought, but it was hidden in a hidden in a box. Okay, now this should be successful. Cool. Um, can't do... We don't have a support module, we just have an environment though. I'm just wondering... So it said that the... Um, it's either between the beach and the scan room, but this one has better continuity between, like, post-scan. So let's try the scan room. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me 
really got me worked up, bastard. What? Where did he... Alice? Congratulations, Mr. Wan. The scan was successful. Chun? Where's Alice? She left. Mr. Wan, I need you to give me the new security cipher. What? Why? Why would you need that? This is a trick. Please, this is important. I knew you couldn't be trusted. None of this is real. But you won't break me, Wow. You hear me? You won't break me! Wow. Do we need okay. to turn it off? Can we just keep him alive until we've got the cipher? The longer he's exposed to the computer model, the more he'll get hung up on it. So, what's wrong with letting him settle in a little? It would drive him insane. So let's keep the session short and the suffering to a minimum. This is just really bizarre and crazy to me. Um, that this is even stuff that we can do. Like, I've spent this whole episode just completely immersed into this game. Because it's, it's so crazy. This is insane. Let's try the beach. The beach is nice. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful beach. Don't be afraid, Mr. Wan. Dr. Chun, is that you? What happened? What is this place? Just be calm. Take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery for a moment. Dr. Chun? I hear your voice, but there's no one here. There's no one here! It's empty. It's too empty. There's something really wrong with this place. It's not real! This isn't real! I have to get out of here! Okay. We need to build the scene so it's more what he'd expect. As soon as he starts to doubt, we've lost him. You're right. We need to think this through. We need some more data. I need a support module, dude. So let's take this out. And is there a, is there like another computer that I could use somewhere? Maybe I can find. Um, Another one of these things put somewhere where I can plug in a support module. Because this has Float Tank and Versailles, but they're both corrupted. It just says environments. This has definitely been the most complicated part so far. Let's see if there's anything elsewhere that I can that I can find. Maybe can we go in and investigate his uh, his room? Here we go, Brandon Wan's room. I'll just override the lock for you. Cool. Can you unlock can you unlock all the other rooms then? Get to know him. Maybe we can make the simulation a little smoother. Cool. I'm glad I decided to check other areas like this. Let's have a listen to the data buffer. Brandon, you ready to go? Strohmeyer says it's time to move. I'm waiting for Strasky and I'll borrow to pack up their stuff. Head downstairs and I'll meet you there. Don't take too long. Don't worry, we're right behind you. <laughs> Seems like they were getting ready to leave. Heard some lady telling Brandon to hurry up. You got that from the intercom? Must be a transmission buffer. Hang on. That's Alice Coster. Wouldn't have guessed they even knew of each other. Interesting. Looks like they were dating. Family. What's this? Security clearance, baby. All right. Brandon, I'm really a mess thinking about the scan. Everyone is being so brave, all smiles, no regrets. You know how you said you would hold my hand during the scan? If the offer still stands, I gratefully accept. If we do it together, we could suffer the hangover together as well. They say it takes a couple of days to recover. Kisses, Alice. There's a note from Alice that makes me think she was scanned alongside Brandon. Okay, that sounds really promising. We can definitely use that. I think we got this, Simon. I can synthesize Alice's voice from the intercom. 
and use it to impersonate her for the simulation. We can trick him into feeling safe enough to open up. Great. Definitely feeling good about this. Good job with the intercom. I didn't know you could data mine. What's it like? It's just something that I do now. So it comes naturally to you. That's really interesting. Yeah, I'll make sure to add it to my dating profile. <laughs> uh, Ake has finally agreed to evacuate Delta. Uh, we moved it to Theta. Stick around for a while longer. I did my arc scan together. They were together during the scan. That's okay, Sherlock. We got it already. <laughs> you should focus on simulating Brandon Wan. Streamer told me the hangover basically kill me. The biggest pain was that Chun girl. She is so uncomfortable at all times it makes my skin crawl. So obviously Chun is just stressing her the hell out. All right, we've got everything that we need now, it seems like. So, let's go. I guess that'll be the, um, that'll be the support module. Maybe it'll just say Alice as a support module. I compiled an Alice module that we can use. So she'll yeah. be with Brandon in the simulation. Sort of. I'll still need to do the talking, but it'll sound and look like Alice. I knew we needed a support module. All right, so scan room, Alice. That's what we're going with. Ow. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up, bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strawmire. He said he needed a new cipher ASAP. What should I tell him? It's all right. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42, 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah, I got it. I'm sorry, Mr. Wong. Red. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still here. I wanted to shut that too early. I'm not sure what to do with the data. You decide. You decide? No! Decision! I'm just, I'm just unsure. I have a feeling that if we shut it down... I don't know. Both of them seem like... If we erase it, it would be like nothing ever happened. Which is essentially destroying his scan. And then shutting it down. Do I have to make a choice here? Because I don't even know what these mean. I'm making a choice. I don't know what the shutdown did. And I don't know what erasing the data would have done either. Probably, like, erased him completely. And now this is all useless. Cool. Well, I guess I go back to Catherine now. No. No. This is open. Simon, we got it. We can get to the Dumbat now. Get back here. Yeah, but I don't feel safe now. I don't feel good. I don't feel good. Um, I don't feel good. This is going to shut right in front of me. Oh my god, it didn't. Oh my god. Catherine! Catherine! Catherine. Couldn't we just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow? It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. 
No, that's impossible. Memories don't work like that. There you are. Just warming up the Dunbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What do you need me to What's do? What's weird? Get inside the dock. The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in, and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy enough. Catherine, what's weird? You can't just say that's weird and then never mind, dude. Alright, let's go. Alright, so she shut the doors behind her. Which is good. So hopefully whatever was in that area stayed in that area. Alright, let's scan this guy. We're in. Alright. Let's have a look. Um... Oh my god, why is this so hard? <laughs> I can't control. Can I not? Can I not? Okay. I guess I can't. But they're so interactive. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Alright. I guess not. Is that the Dun... Is that the Dunbat up there? doesn't look very indestructible to me it just looks like an underwater version of the um of the normal robots i've seen walking around this station what does that mean all right no oh my god <gasps> where did you go Oh my god, I've... Where is he? He's... <laughs> oh, he's on the staircase. Come back here. No! Give me my... I have formed a bond. You don't understand. Come back here, I'm so sorry. Alright. You stay here. Because I guess I have to use the... No, I have to open this. Well, I've got to use that staircase for something. Warning, watch out for moving doors. Avoid injury, mind your step. I can't do anything. Instructions unclear. Like, what is this? Like, this looks like the thing that I have to interact with, but I can't, I literally, no matter how I interact. This is like the first time I've like gotten to a point in the game, in this game, where I absolutely feel genuinely stuck. Because I've just been walking around here for ages, just like looking around, not figuring out what to do. This guy is like flashing, I can't interact with this, nothing about this works. Oh, uh, actually, oh, you gotta be, you gotta be... Oh, oh my god, you've got to be shitting me! I have to plug it in! I didn't even notice that it was that this was a thing that I needed to do. Get in here, oh my god. Oh. 
I've wasted so much time. Oh, I've wasted so much time! And now I can... Oh my god. It like revs up like an engine. Wow, this is cool. Oh, that looks like the final switch. Hold on. Preparing release. Ready for release. Release in progress. been infected well it was definitely infected because it was covered in all the stuff so it was infected by the wow um wow exactly wow um so we brought it to life and it was like sentient because it was like attacking and blaming Catherine and now it's gone we just released it into the wild. We just wanted to ride in it, dude. It looks like we can go in here now because this is yellow instead of red. Alright, I gotta be careful when I put you down. No, hold on. So I guess we have to go through the maintenance tunnels. You're coming with me, buddy. You're not out of this yet. Thank you. Come on. We've got maintenance tunnels to go through now. And I guess we're going down here. The game is just loading. Alright, so we've got a choice in where we can go. So let's have a look around Buddha and we'll see what's going on. Failed at acquiring the Dunbat. Interesting. And we're not alone. You know what? I'm just thinking. It's a bit of a tense moment to end it on because I am just getting addicted to playing. I'm so immersed in this right now. This is my longest episode so far. Um... And I hope that's okay, because I've been taking it very slow to take everything in. But while I'm here, me and Buddha, we're going to take a break. I probably should have taken the break after the Dunbat escaped. <laughs> or maybe just before it. So it's a weird time to end it. But again, it's been a long episode, so I need to continue this in the next one. Otherwise, I'll never stop playing, and this will be like a three-hour episode. So I'm going to end it here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm immensely stressed. So I'm going to calm down, and we'll pick this one up in the next episode of Soma. Thank you guys, and I will see you next time. <laughs>